Hits the shot, loves to play a hard cut. He does go after it. Good luck, gentlemen. We'll be there. Mm, it's clinging. <laughs> Not bad. Won't spin it as much. Lost that one to right. He's knocked on the door of victory a few times. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Very upright. Should be a great hole location. A little bit of a pull. Up to 16th. There is so much going on in his mind right now. Back over to two, Sahit Tagala. We've seen a lot of these walk and talks. Bill, you've been involved in a lot of them over the years. That is the guy on the bubble who started the day three over through three. Head to the third, Sahith. Once again, whole location on the right, but he's actually going in there a little right to left. Not bad. Got it back to this, this proper section of the green. He doesn't have a ticket. <laughs> Sahith with the putter from the fringe. Stretch. Interesting comparison between Akshay Batia and Sahith Tagala. That's why they're trying to have it hit the fairway. Our tracing technology is provided by TrackMan. I'd love to get your thoughts on that. You got two of them out there on the West Coast. then a few in between. These are the shots that are a little more difficult to judge because you're going up maybe five feet or so. You just can't force it in there low. Four years of Pepperdine. It's pretty good life. That over is going to be the option. We'll see. Sahith. <clears throat> Akshay Batia has laid up from the left. Here's Sahith Tagala from the right. Looks like he's going to have to break it up pretty quickly. Yeah, right at the back of the bunker. Not bad. This would be a nice up and down for Thigala. Apparently the construction continues across the street. Sahith didn't even look over there, so... Ooh, must not have bothered him. Plan all kinds of stuff now. You're going to go back to Australia. Go ahead. Go left. see the folks. The gala at six. He kind of wiped across that a bit and will pay the price. It's like he's playing it back in his stance, so going to land it somewhere close to that collar right there. Nice shot. Nicely done. This is on a very nice line, just left of the hole. Really good strike right there. Landed nice and softly. Oh, 
took a little hop right in the middle of the putt right there. I don't think it helped it. Sahith is not taking the bait here. He's just going to play it back in the wide area. Uh oh, uh oh, well, that was the plan anyway. And that could very well be Obi Wan Kenobi with the toe of a hybrid for while standing in the parking lot. That was a very good decision right there from Sahith Tagala. And just try to utilize that back slope that Akshay had just missed. He's sitting on top of it. It's a full swing, though. Needs to go just a hair. Stay right there. All right, it's makeable. I don't know why. Just nothing would surprise me with Sahith. I have a feeling. Oh. Ooh. Wasn't able to line that one up, but at the end, the line was turning over perfectly. A little something when he was working on his game. Sahith with his driver. And it's creeping towards that bunker. Let's see if it skirts. Oh, it did. Didn't take him long to regroup, though. Just getting held up in the wind. This has to go hanging out to the right. It's, it's easy to misjudge the distance when you can't quite see all the go, go. green go, right go. there. Sahith is going to have his dry up a little short. Dre, whatever you do, do it like Fred Albers. You know, he just he's trying to get some semblance of a game, and Tagal is trying to get this ball up and down from the green side bunker, and he does. So. Sahith Tagala, this is the club that he hit over the boundary fence at eight, very nearly out of bounds, millimeters from being out of bounds. It was to the right, and this one's right also. Well, this too, left of the hole, safe at the center of the green. Tagala, one of six players in the field this week inside the top 50 in the FedEx Cup race. Pretty similar to the other two putts. See what he picks up. He's going to miss just left. Yeah, not quite enough. All right, so they continue to chase the nine under Lucas Herbert earlier in the day. Different conditions. Start the day with that marine layer. Great of a personality and how good of a kid he is. And like you said, all the talent in the world. Staring that one down. Bite. And does it bite for him? That's fine. Okay, that's good. Getting better. Just kind of get get two or three under going into that back nine. And, and he's got all the talent in the world. These par fives and birdie here at the par three 11. That's a pretty good start. All right. It's pretty fancy right there, now Tagala. He really had to work hard to get that up. He had a gnarly lie. All the grass was matted into him. Pretty good. Okay, back in the fairway. Right side of the fairway at 12 is third in the par five. Yeah, even this is tricky. It's a right hole location. It's hard to get to with the ball that far above your feet. Just left of the hole, great shot there. Just a little dog leg left. It's actually with this new reroute, they basically go and play the same shot on back to back holes on back to back dog leg lefts. Gow two, say hit the gala. Squarely aggressive. in the fairway, Roger. Yeah, aggressive play off the tees left him just 63 yards to the hole. There is a little bit of a backstop behind the hole that can help contain it. That's pretty well done. Yes, it. 
but his world ranking could get him in. He's currently 24, top 30 in the world, can get you in, but he's looking at this week for a good opportunity. Pagala, he is in, and he's also in at 13. You see that 50 with the FedEx Cup next to his name. Get it in position, get a wedge in your hand, try to get your approach close if you can. That started out Step right. One is definitely, yeah, you gotta hit this fairway. We saw Jeff Ogilvy near the cart path. It's up a little bit higher. This should spin. Oh, yeah. That'll be a touchy putt. How big of a backstroke can I take just to get this ball started? Right. Looking for a four in a okay. row. Confidently there down go. there. What a run. 11, 12, 13, 14 to hit the gala tree that's right at the center of the fairway framed by the trees and turn it a little left if you can. Generally a miss in the left rough is a little better than one in the right. And Ooh. Oh, it bounced off the trail. He's hit that low bullet going at the left side and it's turning away from the green. That rough snagged it as well and it's sitting down. That's going to be a very difficult up and down. Roger, how challenging is this for Sahif? Well, he's got green to work with, but he's trying to carry it all the way back. This is too hard. I, I got to be honest oh. with you, that was horrible. I can't believe that he tried to fly <laughs> it all the way back there. Rough off the tee, rough in the second, rough with his third. Ooh. That's nice. special right there. You can chase the ball a long ways if he hits that low burner, which he's done. Starts up the right, turning a little bit toward the center. Yeah, this should run a ways. The end of the fairway, guys, is 316 yards. That's just a long iron, and that's probably 10 yards short of it. So now we'll get a look here. A tracer by track man with the ball flight. See what he decides. He's going just left of it. That was the line he was given, and it was well done. Oh, two great shots for Sahit there here. At... Great look here. Yep. That would have gone in wow. a symbol. And they love it. 162. Plays a little downhill, and the wind's helping a little bit and from left to right. Whole cut in front and left. Okay, bounces it up there. He'll have a birdie putt at the par three. Can he make another one here on the back nine? Oh, just hung out there just like Justin's. So close. Slightly uphill, working from left to right. <laughs> that did everything but Ghost did the same exact thing that JT's putt did, just hung left that much. Wonderful putt. one but it's sitting down it's nasty he's had three different clubs not trying to figure out how he can squeeze it out of here and what he's going to do with it I scored a little right on him all right not terrible you can see the golf ball and maybe get it to land softly yeah, he's trying to play some kind of run up and this isn't going to work and not going to get there it's going to roll away knew it right away oh it hung up uh, same time, all four days, the gala. Ooh. Oh, I thought he made that. I don't think he hit that the way he wanted to either. Just a little bit of a chunk and run and got away like with it. it.
target practice here at 18. <laughs> he gave up. He did not hit that solidly, did he, Dre? He did not. He was looking to land that on the green. It kind of chunked a little bit, and he got lucky that he chunked it bad <laughs> enough that it ran out. The honorary observer in this group is Rob Wayne from Chicago, Illinois. That's the one you were looking for. You know it. 60 yards to this back left pin, about eight paces short. It does start to slope away from where he's hitting from towards the pin, so just a little short of it would be ideal. That was new for yesterday. We got a new one today. I like it. I like his style. Now, Thagala. I think sometimes you got to send a message, Dre, to these clubs. Look, we got a deep bench. If you're not performing, you get to sit over there by the cooler. Not a flag you're going to go chasing early on a Friday morning. Yeah, let the contours bring it down. Nice, solid shot. I would love to know. I'd love to have a shot link stat of how many putts that are left or right putts from a distance like that miss low. This from 265 yards. Perfect lie out of the first cut. Headed right at the bunker. Needs a little kick left. Almost a chunk and run. Just get it on the green. Let it run the rest of the way. Well, he knows exactly what it did. It rolled right by the hole as he hit that bunker shot. Yeah! Oh, most popular man in the field. Sahith, five wood. Right at the right edge of the fairway. Scared that bird. Cannot miss it right. Anything short sighted is no bargain. Mm. Just around that right edge, maybe a hair outside of it. <laughs> yeah, he's rolling. Nice putt on the previous hole. Looking to get it right around that 260 number. Drawing perfectly up the gut. Tracer technology is provided by Trackman. Shows 70 feet of curve. Just did, landed it maybe three paces short, have it skip up. Will that stay? Thagala's ball was maybe six feet at one point. All the way back up the hill now, a little double breaker. Mm -hmm. All right, what about Sahith here at 15? Well, he started this left. He is challenging those trees, fading back towards the fairway, though. The thing looked like it picked up speed when it hit the ground. Sit, sit, sit. That'll be right over there next to Akshay. It's got an absolutely beautiful lie here, opening the face up, just trying to land it on the green. Have it trickle out. You, you wish you didn't do it. That's a really good up and down there. The tournament playing again. <laughs> this oh, is headed oh. right. If 
he somehow manages to get this on the green, I'd be impressed. Oh, that was a lash. Raced out of there pretty fast. Just inside 13 feet to keep it going. Well, it just didn't have enough pace to hold the line. Fagala now. And just left of it, may need to get down here. This should be rolling like a putt and give it a little scare. Checked up quickly that there, ball. Billy. Well, if you remember watching Jeff Overton play, he just took that massive swing every time. This clipped a tree right off the start. Well, took some speed off of it and found the left hand rough. It's a little bit tougher Got shot, it. trying to elevate it. He's had a chance. Made sure that didn't adjust the club pace. Okay, another birdie for Fagala. Goes back to minus seven. Yeah, he's right in there with Taryn, Cam Davis, S.H. Kim. These guys are in that boat. They just got done with that side. What can they do over here? Here's Thagala. No way, dude. This hole was the hardest hole yesterday. The par threes are playing very difficult out here. Trying to hoist that in tucked. the air. Yeah, the pin was tucked over that bunker that Sahith just carried it over yesterday. Eight under two weeks out from the Ryder Cup. Sahith the Gala, we watched him yesterday, also started on the back, three under 34 going out, and then this lengthy one at the second. Yeah, only less than 10 birdies on this hole today. Really give it the business. This is fading well right. Needs All to get right. down. Look out, that is still going. You get underneath these trees and there's no grass and it's so firm. It just. What's happening here? I don't want the shot. Straight up and right. drawing it. This All may right. catch the back edge. Nice. Oh, nice shot. Oh. Well, you don't see that every day. And great shot just to get to this location. Gives himself a chance. Seems to stay up, though. <laughs> that just dive off the map. Well, if you can get this one to go, nobody will know. Sahith still one back. Beautiful vista here of the Napa skyline. Right. One forty-eight up a couple yards, looking to go right of this pin Hold because that, it is cut Hold barely that, please. over the bunker. Good recovery shot from Sahith. 80% of this putt, it should move a little bit left. Once it gets on top, it will start running away from him and work back to the right. Yeah, good 
good speed. He's really made the most of some of the wayward tee shots. What a spot for Sahith to get his first career win. This is just left of it trying to fade back, but this is probably going to go through the fairway. Yeah, it's really a strange tee shot. You get it over there. That ball's sitting up pretty nicely, but we know from yesterday there's lots of trees down that left side. There's no angle. All well, under par evaporated. Good things happened with Sahith. Here's his second. Uh, splitting the trees, trying to draw it around, but just hanging there. Looking like it's headed right at the bunker. Look at first, first win out here on the PGA Tour from the bunker, is third at the par five. And this guy's a magician around the greens. So here's our leader, Sahith Tagala. Tracer technology right. is provided by Trackman, and here we go again. Still going. Mm. Boisterous gallery as well following him from 101. Bit of trouble at six yeah, for a moment. <laughs> just a hole later, a magician from the woods as well. This is a tight little hole location back here, and he made it look easy. It's a great shot, man. Tap in to get it to 11 under par. And he is on a heater right now. Front pin location here. Just got to avoid this front right bunker. Anything else left of it's going to be a pretty good shot. It's a good looking swing out of there. Sahit Tagala leads this Fortinet championship by two shots at 11 under par. Here he is for birdie at seven. Left to right. We're going to see if we can keep this heater going. Just that close. Sahith to stay at 11 under. He looks like a pretty good front runner right now. To the tee at the eighth, 17th hole of the day for our leader. It's got to watch how much it spins. You can't go long, but you want to get it all the way back there. What, 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 what are we doing? Well, JT drove it down there so far, <laughs> he actually went all the way up to the green to take a look. <laughs> it's 38 feet back up the hill here. Tough to get this all the way to the hole. Not close enough to tap, but close enough he's not going to really have to worry too much about it. I think he's talking about that, uh, talking about that game, USF. The leader yeah. stays maybe the leader. No? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> He doesn't leave much in the bag. I just, I just don't see, think there's any more in the tank, Steve. Oh. Now Thagala, up and down. A couple paces inside. Yeah. Justin Thomas, 132. Mm. Two good ones. His final hole was the ninth. This to get it to 12 under. Strokes gain around the greens first and putting as, as well. He was third. Sahith Tagala just along the edge of the fairway. On the oh, way, Roger Malpe out there watching. Go. Yeah, this one going at the center of the green left of the hole. Okay, that was from 143. Comes up a little shy of the mark. Back at six, lengthy one for Sahit Tagala, 25 year old from Chino Hills, California. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. On the extreme right hand side with the breeze coming from the right. So this is a tough one to get near. Look at the tracer Center. by Trackman. Yeah, trying to cut it against that wind. Land oh, soft. That's yeah. really a very good shot today. Boy, there's a little more speed around that cup.
Okay. So those two handle their business there at the par 3-7. He has not hit a fairway yet today, but Sahith finding the fairway for the first time. Yeah, this borderline's on a sucker pin. <laughs> I've seen a lot of bad things happen, players trying to get it close here, but you can do it. I think he listened to you. a little slope there, that'll work. That spun out of the rough. That sure did. Took that one hop in the rough, came back. Yeah, a little uphill here from about eight, nine feet should break left. No problems. They come out to follow Roger Maltby, and Sahith so is benefit of that, benefactor. He's trying to shape it a little right to left. It's down the extreme right hand side. Depends on what kind of bounce he gets. Oh, that'll be just fine. I don't see it jumping. I think this is going to be okay from that standpoint. Go. Be good. Be good. Oh, oh yeah. Right. It's yep, okay if it stays there. All right. First part of this is over a shape, very slight false front. And then it starts to run away a little bit and break right. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. That's a good roll there. Right. Let's go, Saeed. Let's do it, buddy. Come on. You got this, man. Starts it up the right, drawing back. Yeah, this is fine. Looks pretty good. That was a moment ago. Now a live look at the second coming up for Tigala. From 172, I've got to correct myself a little bit. He went with less than his driving iron off the tee and left himself more distance to the green than I thought he might. That's a pretty good shot. Oh. And you're looking at the tracer by Trackman. Man, that was a good swing right over top. I think he hit that one too well. I just meant the stance, not the actual putt, Raj. That's your <laughs> job, buddy. <laughs> He's thrown it well out to the right. Look at that swinger. Look at that. That's really a wonderful effort. That was not an easy putt. A little breeze against. Again, there is a penalty area left. We saw Cameron Champ visit in there. You want no part of that. See a lot of misses right here off the tee. Trying to hit just his third fairway today. That was low. Look at that this apex. Ain't a miss. Wow. 34 feet, Raj. Did that buzz your cap? <laughs> this is going to run forever. He's got 241 left of the hole. It's a long iron, scalded in line with the flagstick, but I don't think it can cover. No. Ball looks like it's coming off the blade right where he's looking all the time. He hadn't made all of them, but uh, I think he's putted very well. There you go. Good call. Took a lash at it, definitely a little late on it. There's a penalty area over here, heading towards it. I don't know if he's gonna have a backswing. Between the right green side bunker and the one immediately in front of the green, he's gonna have to try to hit it low and bounce it through that. And trying to play a well, little running He's done draw. just that, I'm telling you what. That is brilliant. What a shot. 
left hand break. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want Roger to say it. Looked like a three the entire time. He loves saying that phrase. Through those last two holes, really getting into a nice groove in his round. Didn't hit his first five or six fairways, kind of all out of sorts. Missing the last fairway, still made birdie, but he just seems to find a way to get the ball in the hole. Yeah, 92 yards left here. I think you got to take it in a little past the hole and hope you can spin it back some. Yeah, I knew it was too much, his body. It's all right, though. Yeah, it's going to keep creeping back, but this is a speedy one he's got left. No doubt. As a matter of fact, to all our best to Gary as we take you out to 14. S.H. Kim came up short for par. The gal on the way. It's a quick putt. That's rolling by about four feet away. And Raj, he hasn't had a three putt in 215 holes. Oh, you had to go there. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to make you just wanted to make a note. Firmly done. You're fine. He doesn't lack for you're confidence. Fine. The announcer's curse. You're good. You're good. There's so much on the line in these seven events in the FedEx fall at 15 with the gala. Uh, wind has picked up some about 10 12 miles an hour wind into their faces here. Tough fairway to hit. Oh, but he found it. Yeah, he's really starting to start to drive it better. Yeah, 244 left to the hole, 234 front. It's on the extreme right hand side and accessible if you can get it on the right line. This drifting a bit right. Uh, okay, that'll be on the upslope. We kind of saw Max Homewood pitch from there. And he's going to have to play some kind of flop shot, but Smiley got it right on a bit of an upslope and got grass under the ball, so he can do it. Landed a little harder than he wanted, though. It's going to get on by five feet. Yeah, not too bad, though. He has been t awesome around the greens. 10 of 12 scrambling this week. Nice ball. Well, it's birdie number four today for Fagala, and he is at 16 under par, leading the way by one shot. And starts down the middle, turning left though, and I think this is gonna miss left. Yeah, left is not great today, wherever that whole location is, no angle. Got a little wind helping, and from the oh, right. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that's just about all he could do, I think. I mean, it's a smart play. Everybody's come up Everybody. short there. Everybody just so tough to get it to the hole there. Three putt street stays alive. <laughs> well, you didn't say it this time. No, I didn't, but I was thinking it. So I think he heard me thinking about that it. That counts. At 17. Get in the hole. Go deep. Go deep. Oh, oh it stays right there. That's going to be a good look. Yes, it will. will be able to have a putter in his hands. It killed its forward momentum. This one uphill now. Yes, indeed. Yep, 17 under par now for Tagala, who stretches his lead out to two. Heading at the bunkers as well. Boy, well, he made great contact, launched it way up in the air, and it's cutting left to right. This is going to go in the right rough. Ooh, sitting down in the rough as well. But he's got to be looking a little right of the hole. You do not want to miss short. You do not want to miss left. He's looking around. That actually. surprised me. I didn't think he played that far right, but. That come out. 
Got to go. Got to dig. Oh yeah, that's kind of what you're talking seven, about, Raj. Gallery willing that putt to the hole. All Sahith Bigala, Terry Gannon, Smiley Kaufman with you. How about the start for the 25 year old from Chino Hills, California, trying to win for the first time on tour? In the middle of the fairway, only 94 yards. Hit his number absolutely perfect at the first. He knew there'd be pressure as the leader going into the final round. No nerves right out of the gate. Just walks it in, making it look easy at the first. His second from 53 yards. I mean, he hit driver off this tee and pushed it way up there. This pin just in the back of the green. Just a nice handy shot there from Sahib. Stops it on the down. So at that for another birdie race this season. So just missed making it to the Tour Championship, but secure for next year on a signature event. And right now, this would be his biggest day yet in his career. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Looked like that golf ball had designs on going down for a three. He has been an absolute magician around the greens this week. Has some of the best hands on the PGA Tour, if not the world. He has put on a master class with the wedge this week. That'll be his third birdie in his first five holes, and you hear the roar. He has a lot of people, Terry, rooting him on here today as he tries to get that first win. On the tee at the sixth at 20 under and with a five shot lead. All right. Holy shit. He's hit it right a couple times on this hole at the six. He's gotten a break earlier in the week. See where this ball. Which would leave a very long putt. Oh, no. Yeah, he got it solid, it seemed. Got it up and across the lip. I don't know if he hooked it enough, though. He's trying to play a big, high draw. I don't think it hooked. The contact was good. He's landed it short into the bank, and he killed it pretty much. But OK, he's on the green in three, at least. Yeah, almost a bad break there. Yeah, putting out of a bit of a valley here in the front. This putt uphill out of that valley should go right. And he's going to get out of here with five, and it didn't have to be that good. Some of the hardest holes on the golf course are coming up 7 to 11. So he just bogeyed one of the easier holes. Now 7 to 11, if he's going to win this tournament, he's got to play these next four holes well. I'm going to right to left, little left of the hole. How about that? What a shot. Good golf shot there from Fragala. Once I think this is going to die just to his right. You were right, Jeremy Raj. Was right like again. The only person who could perhaps know more about this golf course than Roger would be Johnny Miller. The two of them together that is some serious intel. For the hospitality this week and just doing things first class every time. Higala now. Driving iron here, starts up the left, cutting a little bit. This will be just fine, and I don't believe he'll have any more than a wedge left. Avoid the divots. He's looking at front edge yardage here. He wants to land this ball just on the green. Should take a hop before it stops. Will it spin back? Oh, boy. How about this? He has been dialed in with his wedges today. 2024, but you need that little edge in the final round, too. Uh, tap in. Got to stay committed to it. Starts it up the right, not drawing much. I think this is going to find the right rough. It does. Just a couple of paces into that rough, but it is a missed fairway. He can get the club on the back of the ball. It's a matter of how much the ball may jump, if oh, at all. Or go? I don't know. 
Okay, okay. Safe play. Yeah, definitely a safe play. Definitely not going to hurt you, especially when you have a five-shot lead. Stays the same. This for birdie number five. That's not going to happen. All the way to the finish. All right, that's a three under front nine. And think about this as he makes the turn. This week, 13 birdies on the back nine. This will be just fine. Starts up the right, drawing back up the right center of the fairway. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a little right of the hole, wants it up as well. Oh, that catches the front bunker. That could That's plug. That was a softy. Five of six up and downs out of the bunker. This week. Well, he got that to come out so soft. That is well done. Ooh, man, he hit that on that left edge. Maybe a little bit of a misread, but. Saw that graphic and how well he's played the back nine. That's just the second bogey on the back nine this week and a costly one right now. Or do you just settle for being short of that ridge and putt up over it and try to save your par that way? This is a little left of the hole. Ooh, oh, man, Catches that was a break. Pretty good lie here. Delicate little chip ball will move left to right. Okay, well done. Yep. Man, he took a wide stance. It looked like he was going to take a bigger backswing, but really just nice and short. Kept it right in front of him. I, that surprised me the way he set up to the ball. But he does make his par. Look at that. 38 feet in the air. Exactly. I mean, that is such a cool shot. Playing up the right side, a little tight draw. Short, but that's just the shot that he described. So this is first part is uphill. It will break to his left. When he gets past that crown, the green starts to run away. This will have some speed. Wow. You thought for a moment it was back to back. Yeah. Got to hit it for him to hold the line. Yes, sir. 10 under on the par fives this week. He is such a nice guy. What a great family. This is an awesome moment for all of them, Roger. No wow. doubt. Yesterday he came up to me, the father, and introduced himself, said hello, told me what a fan he was of me, and this one's gone left, and that is not good. Chunked it. Dead chunked it. Oh, it's so easy to do in that situation. It's harder to watch than to play <laughs> sometimes. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah, nice. Here you go. Control the distance. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Right. Pitch. Beautiful. Oh, that is so good. His scrambling this week has just been superb. 13 of 17 already this week. Starts it out to the right, hitting a draw. It's going left at the left trees. And we'll have to see what he has left from there. Knuckly lie. This looks like a knuckly ball flight. This should scoot some. Oh, this is really good, Raj. Well judged. Laying on the front of the green, and that was absolutely what he needed to do. Smiley, I don't know about you, but I'm watching his dad. I am as well. What a great call, Raj. This fairway perfect. You don't want to go well right because there is a penalty area over there. 
Well, he's taking it up the left hand side and cutting it. it this is so good, it's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing defensive about that swing. What a drive from Thagala. He must be feeling it right now. You can imagine the adrenaline in his body. And let's take a look at the tracer by Trackman. Man, how good is that? Firmest green on the golf course. Not going to hold, but it's exactly what he was trying to do. But otherwise, this is where I would have wanted to leave the second shot. And it came out hot and came out yep. turning over. Mm. And that was all dictated by the lie. And he's been so good at judging those lies all week. I mean, he's been. Ooh, that was a little firm. Yeah, that was a little aggressive there. Okay, disappointing, but a par. He'll take it. He's got the driving iron out. The further left you can hit it and keep it in the fairway, the better you angle it. You'll have it to hold. It's just cut in the front right. This looks good up the left side. Smiley, he just sees shots and hits them. He's an artist. He, he can curve it both ways. Oh, this is dead at it. Absolutely brilliant. Seems to me that reaction a little different from the family and, and the gallery, too. It starts to settle in now, the, the realization that he could be closing this out. I mean, Rob said it, left side of the fairway, great opportunity to be aggressive, and those eyes are so wide. Just so dialed in and focused. Great shot. Yes, sir. This is right of the hole. I think that's right where he needed to play it. That's just fine. I think this one's on ice, Steve. The Gala fans, it's been very infectious. That's a great judge of speed there. Not an easy one to get close. It's a hit now with this little one for par. He was born in California. His parents were born in India. His father, Murley, came to the U.S. as a grad student in the 1980s. Okay. To the hole, but the lie's pretty good here in the rough. Wind against each is going to lay up. It's the move to make. He's trying to take it up the left-hand side. This is probably going to find the left rough, but that's okay. Ooh, did disappear, though. That wow. was a lash. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to catch that slope and go off right. Well, that was the right, correct side to make the mistake on, especially if he caught it a little heavier into the left, that cross bumper short. He's not going to be in love with that, but that's okay, too. Just fine. <laughs> High fives about to turn to hugs and tears. Of joy, Sahit Kagawa is a winner on the PGA Tour.
and let the celebration begin. It is going to be the biggest party in Napa tonight. That's six, by the way. Let's go ahead. Thank you. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.